Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Strix application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's an amazing app where you can watch live TV, movies, TV shows, download other applications or even get some adult content. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get and set up Strix on your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we go to search on your device and start typing downloader in the search bar. And now, as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We'll still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings by clicking on that gear icon right here, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable 8B debugging. Then you'll have to go to install known apps. From here, just locate and loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, and there is the loader which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Canada right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So now, finally, let's go and open up the downloader application, which is right here. So we open it. Then let's just launch it without updating for now. Wait until the app loads for us. And then, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. That's important. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home, and here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be farstickricks.com slash tricks. So let's enter it together. Once again, farstick. Tricks. Dot com. Slash Strix. Strix. 
So here we go, here is the link, you can see it on your screen right now, make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake then the link is not going to work. Then let's click on go and while it's loading make sure that you have subscribed to my channel so you would get even more content about flower sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video, it truly helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, as you can see, the app wasn't loaded to our device, we just have to click on the install button and wait until Strix gets installed to your flower stick. After that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from your flower stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick by default anyway. Now, finally, let's go to the list of applications on your Fire Stick, which is right here, we open it, and there's the Strix application that we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Strix is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then let's open Strix. Here you just need to create any pin code, it's totally up to you. Let's say we do 1234, click on next, and submit. So that's the pin code for your application, you gotta click OK at the bottom. And that's it, feel free to enjoy the app, there's live TV, movies, TV shows and all kinds of other content for you. See you next time, bye bye.